Hi, I'm Kristen, and this past Saturday I attended the Scottish Quilting Show in Glasgow, which is about an hour from where I live in Edinburgh. Just for a bit of context, uh, the population of Scotland is 5.4 million, so if you're comparing it to American quilt shows, there's a big difference in the size of the country. It was held at the SEC in Glasgow along with uh, a Comic-Con event at the same time, so there was some strange characters roaming about at the same time, as well as some strange things in the coat check. The majority of this video is going to be showing you the competition quilts, and you can jump straight to that section using the timestamps in the description if you like, but I thought I would include some photos of all the different booths, which is basically what made up most of the floor space for the show. The quilt show was held in conjunction with the creative craft show, I think it was called, so there was other kind of craft booths as well, like paper crafts and bead making and things like that. Um, so lots of shopping. It felt like most of it was about shopping, to be honest. <laughs> I'll show even cheese and shoes. I'll show you what I bought at the end of the video. Um, there were also though booths of quilters who run sort of workshops and classes and things like that. So I did get to chat to some of them. And there was also booths for quilt guilds and charities and things like that. So there were um, other things to look at. I primarily went to see the quilts though. Before I got to the competition section though, I did um, happen to see that I was there right on time for a lecture by Lindsay Upton, which was all about her life competing in quilt shows. So these are some of her quilts and she was pretty entertaining. So I was glad I happened to wander into that before I got to the looking at the quilts. The actual area where the quilts, the competition quilts were, was relatively compact in relation to the rest of the show. Uh, I thought it could have been spread out a little bit more. So the quilts were really close together. I've tried to take photos um, as many as I could, but I did not get them all just because of course people are around and you don't want to be rude, right? So just to give you perspective, this was the floor plan. I don't know if you can read the writing here, but basically that's where you go in stalls for the other craft show so paper crafts and beads and stuff like that over here that's where you get coffee and like lunch and stuff there was a vip area this is the workshops these are like the quilting shopping booths here these were some other booths from demos groups and guilds and then this little purple square here <laughs> is the area for the quilting competition. So this is where all the competitive quilts were hung. So if you look at that in comparison to this whole space, it wasn't a huge area. So that's all I'm saying. So that's what makes me feel like <laughs> the focus was on the shopping um, and not so much maybe on the quilts and the workshops and stuff. There was This was the um, stage area where I saw that one talk and I think where all the talks were coming at, I didn't take a photo of it, but like, there wasn't a huge amount of seating there. You could maybe set, I'm gonna say 80 people. I don't know, I didn't count the chairs, but it wasn't, there wasn't enough room for a whole lot of folk. So that's the kind of scale of what it all was. I'm gonna put some music on and just let you enjoy uh, having a look at the quilts. The quilting competition for this show is non-juried, meaning that anybody could enter their quilts and have them shown at the show. Just pause the video to get a longer look or to read the attribution cards.
as promised, here's what I bought at the quilt show. I got a rotary blade sharpener. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I've had a long version of one before, it didn't work, but I live in hope that I wouldn't have to keep buying new rotary blades all the time. Uh, I bought some cork fabric or cork material, I guess. Um, I've seen people make, you know, purses and wallets and stuff out of that, and I've always wanted to try it. These were, I, can't, I don't know exactly what measurement this is, but um, that's how it's rolled. And it was two for 15 pounds, so about that. And these, which felt like quite an indulgence, but were it was such a good price. So it was three half meters of fabric for 750, and I bought, so it was from this shop, Allison's Craft Emporium, and I got these three, and these three because I'm getting more and more into solids recently and lastly because they had random stalls and why not <laughs> I bought some fudge <laughs> so that was my haul from all of the uh, shopping stands I thought I was fairly restrained but I still got some treats to take home here's some shots of the streets of Glasgow on my way to the train station to go back to Edinburgh I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with me to the quilt show and if you like videos like this don't forget to subscribe hit the bell for notifications and leave me a comment let me know what you thought thanks so much for spending time with me bye